I don't feel that the accolades that I've got are out and out victories that I'm happy with. Because entering a competition wasn't my like be all and end all thing that I want from painting. Because you're a sane person. Yeah. I love and showing have... showing my models to people who know nothing about Warhammer. <laughs> yeah. and they go, they go, you really that, want an ego beast. They go, that is incredible. That's the best thing I've ever seen in my life. My personal goal with painting has sort of morphed into have fun while painting. Right, let's get started then. Today's topic is how has the hobby changed for you over the last three years? And the reason I say three years is because obviously, as everyone knows, coming out of the dramas of 2020, you know, we've had everyone had that surge bubble of being, you know, because you're confined. Everyone spent a lot of time painting, I think, over over the COVID lockdowns, myself included. Yeah. We've had that. We've had the back to normal bit. Competitions are going again. Been a lot of sort of changes, I think, in maybe people's goals, how much time you've got to spend on painting, you know. So what what for you has been, you know, maybe the growth of that? How has it changed for you now? What are your goal was moving forward? So for me, for example, over that course of time, I've gone from not painting professionally at all to commission army painting to display painting, competition painting. So I would say, you know, the biggest change for me over the last three years has been the switch from commission tabletop stuff to GD competition, Iron Skull competition, you know, name yeah. other competition here, painting to my hardest, really pushing myself. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's how my goals have changed for me is moving forward now. I'm kind of at the minute only interested in painting full beans as hard as I can go. And right I'm looking answer. to, if I'm painting something and it's not better than the last thing I painted, it's a disappointment for me. Yeah. Right answer. Yeah. <laughs> so for, yeah, for each of you, what's been, you know, the yep, first Joe, that. you want to, you want to, you want to stay? Um, I can, I, yeah, I can go for it. I think this is different to, um, previous like questions that we've answered. I think this is one where I'm going to, you two are going to have a more similar answer to me, I think. Um, cause for me, it's like, I, you know, I, I don't paint for the company. I don't paint for Siege. No. I, I'm in, I'm on the, the business side of things. Um, and I'm not someone who spends a lot of time painting either. Um, so I, you know, I haven't entered competitions and things like that. I, I guess I would like to at some point, but I, I, I think that my mindset has kind of switched from like, um, I've just sort of decided that I want to, whenever I am painting, yeah, I want to yeah. be enjoying myself. Oh yeah. yeah. Cause I got to a point where I did feel like, um, painting was almost like painting with that mindset that George just explained was kind of stressing me out in a way. Like it, it was like, I think it stresses a lot of people out. I think you've yeah, got yeah, exactly. So you're not person. alone there. <laughs> so it, like, it depends, it depends on what you want out of it. Yeah, I think definitely. because, because entering a competition mm -hmm. wasn't my like, be all and end all thing that I want from painting. Because you're a sane person. <laughs> yeah. The the stress just wasn't worth it, if that makes sense. Like if you want that end goal, then yeah. You know, I, you're I, gonna be stressed I, out when you're I think painting. that's why so many people that's don't enter fine. competitions but that I, you see I, that I, could. For me, I just I, I and I did this with with a lot of things in my life over the last three years, where was, I was like, do you know what? I'm I'm gonna lower the expectations of myself. And I'm gonna just enjoy this. So you've thing. gone the opposite way. To I've us. gone the opposite way to you two. Um, I'm gonna. I, I just want to enjoy myself when I'm painting. So I'm not as strict on myself with what I'm doing. I'm still pushing myself. I'm yeah, not yeah. like, look. If I compared something that I painted in the last few months to something I painted three years ago, it's gonna be way better. Nice. Still you're, you're looking at it as like a general over time increase in quality rather than a this mini needs to be better than the one I painted. This yeah, because yesterday. I just I just think my personality type. I've sat down with that mindset before as this needs to be the best possible. And it's like sucks the life out. Really, of it. really it is negatively gonna, affected it, it, me. It is grueling. Uh, so I kind of didn't want to answer this one first because I feel like <laughs> I was a bit, a bit negative. <laughs> Sorry to drop you. Um, yeah. But like um, so I remember when we first started doing GW preview stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um we weren't really sure how it was gonna go. We got four models in and um I remember we it was an orc, wasn't we, it? no we had so we had uh two of the space marine models we we gave to obviously we had um uh two of the painters that were, that were working on that stuff and, and we we wanted to initially just try like preview stuff yeah yeah and um so they did those and 
So it was like Nick and, Nick and Adam did those. And then left over, there was another model that I can't remember what it was. And then they, one of the preview things we got was the Tau Ethereal on the hover drive. Oh, hover drive, yeah. they were releasing it on its own for the first time. So it wasn't a new, new model. model. Yeah. But it was a, still a preview model. Was that when I'd done Dark Strider? And I, I knew did Dark Strider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So, so, and then I got the Tau on uh, Ethereal because I was it. like, yeah. I really wanted to be a part of this like big thing for the company of like, this is our first preview thing. This yeah, is your yeah. moment, Joe. But I didn't want, <laughs> I didn't want any of the pressure of it being a new model that had to be on the like Warhammer community right, and stuff yeah. like that. That makes sense. So, though, right? and I remember even painting that, like I was really pushing myself and like really like you done well. not, not doing too well. <laughs> so I was like, so that was a big thing for me where I was like, do you know what? I just want to make sure I'm enjoying myself. And if I'm still improving while I'm doing that, then I, then. And that's, per that's perfectly myself. fine to, to approach it. They totally yeah. that mindset. Like you don't, like, even though I'm a big advocate for always going and going hard or going home. Like the, the, the thing is, is like, if, if that isn't, if that's what's enjoyable for you, like it's good to still have that progression that you're having through doing it in that way. Um, the, the only thing I've ever said is that like, is, is, I, th I, I like to know where my ceiling is. And I think mm. that whether you enjoy that discovery or not, or whether that's enjoyable or you find it fun or not. And I, I'll be honest, I don't think anybody who paints to a super high standard all the time enjoys. Sometimes it is nice to just go, do you know what? I really just want to paint this and just enjoy painting it. Yeah. yeah and yeah. I think that you do need that separation. Um, it's the give and take from, from well, like what is your end goal? It's like I'm saying, yeah, like yeah. you, really want to get this thing into a competition so painting you're in, going painting to in a hotel room they're not yeah you're, yeah 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 <laughs> you're going to stress you out and everyone around you yeah. um, i was getting secondhand stress from that James. Oh, i was like stressed i am out so sorry you. i'm so sorry yeah. <laughs> i'm sure we could tell that not story in full <laughs> yeah uh, we could tell that story in full on another episode but yeah. like it, it just depends what your end goal is i guess like i'm not saying that like yeah. Oh, I'm not saying I expect to win a golden demon with this mentality. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying it's not super important for me to win a golden demon. Totally, like, that's totally. Cool. I'm, that might change, and I might spend a year stressing on one model one one time because I might just get that spark. But at the moment, I think I've just found something quite. I, I think a lot of people might have fallen into feeling pressured to think about it the other way that the, the way that you two are, are, are describing. Yeah, because of you know social reach and and things like yeah, that yeah definitely and, and yeah, the, yeah no, you, I get that. you see a lot more of it now mm -hmm. and if people want to grow a following they might feel like they need to be pushing themselves and winning uh, awards and things awards and, yeah. and stuff like that because yeah, no, i'm no. not that fussed about that and i don't personally like i just don't have a huge desire to to want to win awards or anything like that no, that's that's enjoy painting. So, something interesting that i just picked up on what you just said then so do you think that people's sort of um desire to maybe have a bigger instagram following or you know something in that variety of you know the creation side of things do you think that that's putting false pressure on people to like feel like they need kind of to, i think like maybe, you, can, you could argue know. it's a good thing because like you know I, I oh think, i want this to be really good because it's going to be photographed and it's going to go on my instagram or do you I, think that I, I that's just, forcing people to do it that otherwise wouldn't i'm not saying that it's a good or bad thing like I'm not saying that this is a negative thing no, no, no. that people want to paint really well and they want to develop a following for that and stuff like that. I'm not saying that's a negative thing at all, but I do think potentially it it's just it. What I'm getting at with the social thing is like that's just another reason someone might land on. Like what happens when you when you first like GD or something? It goes in your painting Instagram bio, right? Like people want to the accolade yeah people want to yeah. to show that that's what they've got or they've got a commended or whatever or they've got finalists or, or so it is tied to that like people do associate that with having a a, um, a thing to show off on their social so i, I think because i don't have that desire it's even less relevant for you relevant for yeah me no to, i get i get that yeah no, i don't kind of depends on your think... mindset doesn't it because like I don't think any of us are going to argue that some people probably do just want to win a competition so they can say they won one mm. but obviously I think the more positive mindset and i do think this is the majority of people is like you want to win for you like it's yeah it's oh 100 percent. like yeah look when i'm when i'm there when i'm at gd and i'm with you lot and you've entered and we're going to the awards ceremony and i'm watching people like i'm watching people's like dreams come true yeah, yeah. 
I'm like, it's inspiring. Oh my god, it, it, I wish it, I, it, yeah. I could be That's involved. That's the best feeling of GD. I think the whole weekend, the best feeling was being in that award ceremony. Mate, watching... And even though I had, I had nothing commended, I had nothing at stake going into that. Yeah, I was. It was so heartwarming to watch one like people on stage winning that and is... like seeing the moment like how excited they was and also being yeah. so happy for those people mate yeah, that yeah, is yeah. the thing that yeah. uh, that that i was looking forward to all weekend and i i knew it from going to warhammer fest 2019 that was my first time actually experiencing golden demon and, yeah it was and me, yeah. and chatting to people and seeing what really goes into all these entries and watching that award ceremony in 2019 um i, I was just so excited for the award ceremony at this one because i was i wanted to see that like seeing the young bloods as well like yeah, that's so the excited. best one right yeah. that's the best one to see almost because it's like I'm oh not, my I'm god i'm normally quite reserved uh, in those uh, environments if something came over me i was just like uh, cheering i was yeah, like yeah, yes. yeah exactly yeah yeah at fest at fest this year the, the, the one of the young bloods won and honestly like his facial expression when it he was realized the, it, the guy it that was, got silver i can't remember, oh, yeah, but, I remember. he like it was absolutely it was like his mind was blown that that is everything that's amazing so i don't want to start I'm, I'm, it's such a tricky thing to talk about because I really, really don't want to be saying that it's anything negative. Well, I'm, I'm just saying that like my personal goal with painting has sort of morphed into have fun while painting. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Which I don't, you know, the right. I, I don't think is. Well, I think you're a, right. Like that, could, that can be for me. I have the most fun painting to my hardest exactly yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah it's definitely different for everyone i think yeah, that yeah. there's no right or wrong way like you said to approach that because for me i get bummed out like painting a project and not pushing it because it's like you know a big batch and it's like yeah. this big army project and it's due next week and i need to get it done so i'm only gonna do one highlight instead of three and, and yeah. so on yeah, yeah yeah i think that like that for me finishing something and handing it over knowing it's not my best work that, but then that, you, but then you got to change for the that, stress. That's a it's whole slightly, other topic different that though. I would, yeah. that just, I would that's, love. that's a different thing. But I, I, I would love because you're talking almost about work. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I, I do, I do. Thing. Yeah, I, but obviously for, me, for you, work is time painting though. For me, so, yeah. yeah. For me, I don't do a lot of painting outside of work, and I will say that that is a, probably a bit of a different case for me than it is for a lot of people. I'm, I'm aware of that. But even in like my personal hobby, I have painted stuff where I know I could have done better, but like yeah. because I was busy, I just sort of. Needed finished to get it, it done. and put it on the shelf and kind of i get don't that, get the like, same satisfaction from finished that. is no. better than perfect but then, then you've yeah. got to look at it that object is painted for a purpose like when you're painting for, for a competition and when you're painting for gd the mindset is i've got to do everything as best as i can i've got to do it as smooth as i can as neat as i can as sharp as refined and all those things it's got to be the, the textures and things but it's always got to look realistic etc 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 but like the thing is is like a, a model that isn't to that standard if you're not entering it then it doesn't need it doesn't need that amount of scrutiny because arguably you. i agree you but i know you do this too i do do you, it too you put it in the cabinet and you go it's finished and then next week you're looking back at it again you're like oh it's correct yeah but, that, yeah, but yeah. that's 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 uh, that's a self-ingrained in all individuals who are like that it, that's a self-ingrained perfectionist mentality like but i think one of the things to really conquer as a painter is to understand when something is done so, yes, it's not done to the standard that I'd be super happy entering it into GD or any other painting competition, but is it good enough to put in a cabinet? It looked great. And when someone sees it, they go, oh, wow, that's really well painted. Why are you talking yesterday about repainting your Dante model? Yeah, I'm going to do some gems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to redo some gems and glaze the axe a bit. But, um, but I, do, I do think, by the way, for a future episode, potentially talking about um, what you were touching on, because one of the things to be a commission painter you have to be extremely comfortable with is dialing yourself back. Yeah. And just, um, just, yeah, so just to clarify I, I, I on think, that. I think, I think that's a really interesting topic to get into. Let's, let's do, do that on a different episode. episode. Let's do that on an episode. Because yeah. just to clarify we, on that, I don't think that like there's anything wrong with that. I think that, like I said, the difference for me is like, because I, I never really have done much painting for myself. Uh, this, this goes back into what I was saying about how it's changed me over the years is like, because initially, 99.999% of my painting was all for work because that was yeah. enough for me. And now is what I should have been more clear about is now that's changed for me yeah. where now I want to paint things for myself yeah. and I want to paint them really, really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah and I think that's, yeah, that's a more clear explanation of what I was saying there is I, I, over the last three years, what I've really wanted to do is stop painting for work and start painting for me. Yeah. And when I paint for me, I want it, the way I get the most enjoyment, at least at the minute, and this might change, is painting as best as I possibly, possibly can. 
and that's how I get my enjoyment from it. Yeah. yeah. I think that there's potentially two very interesting topics there, which is like how you have to look at painting when you're being a, like what you have to be prepared to do as a commission painter. Yeah. Because you do have to be prepared to dial yourself back to what your natural um you so what's know, required standard by, is. What's required. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. And that's not great for everyone. Not everyone's fine doing that. And then the other thing is how much you have to sacrifice your own personal painting time because no one, you know, it's very rare that you would want to be painting all day for work and then go home and also paint. And yeah. I think that's another really interesting topic. I'm going to transition here then. So James, what, how have things changed for you over the last three years? How have things changed for me? Um, I, I, I wouldn't say it's just the three years. I'd say that through the whole length of when I started Siege. So obviously I, I when I started Siege, I was super into, uh, super into competition painting and I loved, I used to love every GD magazine I used to get in White Dwarf and all those kind of things. And it has been an aspiration for me to to, to enter and, and win one. And I, I was very fortunate in 2018 by some miracle to win one. But the but the 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 um, the thing for me that how it's changed it really is that I I because of doing all the things that we've done in the industry with different companies and different channels, et cetera, et cetera. I used to go to tournaments, like for example the SN tournaments and stuff. Um, I used to always try and get an army done for those and paint it as well as I can within a time frame around work, around obviously running the business, obviously. Um, I haven't really had the opportunity to to go as hard as I want on stuff um, mm. because I've been always been pulled like a stretch Armstrong doll all over the place doing doing business home life painting an army all of a sudden for for a tournament that we sponsor or, or doing this and it's and no 2018 was the first time I really. Uh, went right everything else bar running the business at that point and we weren't as busy obviously in 2018 but yeah that was the first time i literally went right every night i'm doing x amount of hours factually on my entry and i i done it and done it done it done it done it done it done it and fortunately that translated into me actually into me actually placing you know which was which was which was great um but uh for me I, I've stepped hugely away from the gaming side, uh, and and that's partly because of the pandemic, <clears throat> partly because obviously of just the, the the extra workload that that created, and and obviously as the growth of the company as as it's happened. And, and for me now, this GD, uh, even though I was painting in the hotel room the night before and the morning of entry, absolute mania. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Um, uh, for, we were uh, out <laughs> by the way on the Saturday night until midnight. Yeah, easy. I still so painted. like I got there, back then when he. Whenever you got back to the hotel. We're going to have to do a whole episode just talking about yeah, this because whole, that was yeah, unbelievable. I'm quite happy yeah. about that. Yeah, I was, yeah. But for even that entry for me, <laughs> it's still the best thing I've painted and that's because I've literally dialed down 100% into, you know, uh, I'm just, I'm focused on nothing but purely painting better now and painting and, 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 and actually giving myself time to to enter and put effort and, t and enough of my time into it. Um, I don't feel that um because of all the things that i've been doing over the last couple of years uh you know even even bef even when i was uh had I, I, artists opus as well as a company like i, I literally i'll split between siege uh, artists opus and also home life as well so like i don't feel i've diverted enough of my time into actually trying to paint to my maximum as best as i physically can and, and actually giving the models the, the due care and full time that they deserve for, 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 for from me um, I think that's my, my focus now is like, obviously run siege and keeps running siege with you guys, you know, as, as, as to, and improving it on a day to day basis. But at the same time in and around that, I am going to divert as much time I physically can for 24 onwards into actually being able to turn up and not paint in the hotel room the night before or the morning of entry um the morning and, of is what gets me yeah 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 <laughs> the 5 a.m wake up on the sunday it, the best uh, it, it was worth it um but but yeah i i am i my plan name for for, for 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 from the last couple of years is and from what i'm trying to now focus on is you know uh it's almost like suffering with a little bit of imposter syndrome being frank with you and i think i touched upon this in that interview with with peachy on the on the painting face like um i do have a sense of imposter syndrome a little bit even though i've I am accoladed in a few different competitions and stuff. Um, I never feel, and this is probably a discussion for another episode, but I don't feel like, and I don't want to take away, I've got a sad caveat here. I don't feel that the accolades that I've got are out and out victories that I'm happy with. And I, and I, and I, I know that comes from a very, very privileged position of, of, of having some accolades and winning a couple of things. 
And for those people watching this that that aspire to win something, I don't want that to come across the wrong way. But the, the, there's just certain scenarios and circumstances which, for me, I don't feel that when I've entered, I've entered into a category that has loads of entries and that I look at things very analytically. So just as a quick insight, when I won my Demon, there were six entries in the cabinet. So I look at that as a 50% chance of placing. I want an out and out victory where I'm like, I've put, there's 25, 30, 40, 50, 60 entries in the cabinet. I put mine in and whether I, whatever position I come, if I do place, I, I want to be in an environment where, where I know I've put maximum effort in because I've given it the due time that it deserves. And also at the same time, I've competed in a category that has lots and lots of entries. I think that's something that we will have to cover in, an episode, in, in yeah. another episode because I think that's something that me and you disagree on a lot is, yeah, yeah. is this, the, yeah. you can't control what everyone else does. No, no I, don't I get that. I get that. that we, we, definitely much, have yeah. to, we definitely have to do another episode on that because I think that's quite, a, a, quite an interesting So how, do, how does that relate to sort of your goals moving My forward? My goals then? moving forward are to, to, to other than work and, and obviously Siege uh, and, and obviously dogs or whatever, like other than that, like literally... I am focused. I'm not gaming anymore at all whatsoever. Like I am, I've, I, as much as I love gaming and like with like computer games or like, we're definitely going to force you to yeah. play a few games. I'll probably play when a few games. Comes out, I'll probably, sure I'll probably, I'll probably I, I'm talking about just general game, like building an army and gaming for myself. You've got some Catachans yeah. sitting upstairs yeah. that I've been waiting to shoot off a of board for yeah. about two years. Well, so. we will definitely do a couple of things like that, but I, I'm talking about going to tournaments, you know, and doing these things like that for me is totally off the cards. I don't want to be rushing an army or trying to do an army in four weeks for a tournament because I've you know I've been trying to juggle work and, and getting this armor I don't want to do that anymore I'd rather just come home every night from work put two hours three hours every night into just painting something as neatly as best as sharp as I can with the aim of down the line entering it and going presenting a piece that I'm really happy with I'm not painting in the hotel room the night before the morning of the entry and I can just go it's done to where I want it to be done to you know that that for, I've never you know 2018 was the first and only time I've entered something and been fully happy with the thing I've entered like and I don't feel that anything I ever entered before is at that point because I've I've always been rushing you know like it, and, I, and I, because I've been fighting the clock and I don't want that anymore I, I just want to go I've done the best I can and that's it you know that, that's that's kind of like that's, do you think for the average painter then like you know the more casual someone who doesn't do this you know in the like I say the privilege the privileged position that we're in where we, you know, do this full time. Do you think it's important to assess your goals and to have goals and to sort of yeah, switch 100. up how you're, you know, viewing your hobby and getting the most out of it? I think switching up is important because you've got the, the as a painter, you have different, different, in my, well, in my opinion, you have different, um, uh, different, goals you want to have a nice army that's painted that you can game with your friends if you want to game you want to have some really high-end painted models that you, should, you can show how good you are as a painter or that all that's practice skills and improve things blah blah so i think i think fluctuating between painting for fun and also painting as hard as you can i think you need that personally like, i really you need, do you need to know what you're go like what are you trying to get out of it you need a goal yeah like, I whatever think that's an that goal conversation is, that everyone say, needs to have with themselves like, then is yeah. to the, think about what their goal is what are you doing the hobby for like what is it your escapism the, from what the do you thing want from i it? think the trickiest thing with it when you ask yourself that is that like reminding yourself that like like i've just explained like the goal doesn't have to be win a gold no it doesn't golden demon no, no. like the goal doesn't the, the goal doesn't even have to be get it in a enter golden demon you don't that doesn't have to be one of your goals no like you're right i think my that's goal problem. currently is to have fun while i'm painting like, yeah, that yeah. is what i'm working that's the problem with yeah. the sort of you know painting bubble and following you know so many artists on on socials especially you know in the higher end sort of more competition scene is it kind of does seem like in a accidental way that kind of has been set as like a barrier of like yeah you're not I don't want to say you're not a proper painter, but like it, it seems, I think people might accidentally artificially put in their head that like you need to win or at least enter a comp to be taken seriously. No, yeah. I, 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 I think trying your hardest, painting your best and having something that you can step away from once you've finished that final brushstroke and go, do you know what? For the time I've invested, that's the best thing I've done. That irrelevant of any award or accolade, that is something that as a goal, yeah. I think that, any painter should try and get. I don't know about I you, still, but like I, still... I get more enjoyment personally out of like you know I, 
I get way more satisfaction showing my model to like a friend or you know, someone yeah. at work. I love and showing have... showing my models to people who know nothing about Warhammer. <laughs> yeah. and they go, they go, if you really want an ego beast. They go, that is incredible. That's the best thing I've ever seen in my life. And I go, yeah, cheers. Yeah. Thanks. I'm just that good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's funny because that's the other thing that, that being in this bubble and especially social media and stuff like that, that you, you completely forget is that like, our standards of what's an average paint job is so much higher yeah. than like show the, show the your thing. yeah show a model you painted that you're proud of to your mum and yeah, you'll, yeah you'll yeah you'll be so confident. It doesn't even have to be like if you like if you could show it to just some random person on the street. <laughs> well, they'll go like <laughs> they you, might still you, go, go. That's brilliant. Well done. They'll go. Like, Did you hand paint that? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. We yeah, yeah, we okay. we our our thought of what is the average paint job is so much higher than than what is probably actually the average paint Correct. job. You know, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll never know, really. Because, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. For, We're in every, it now. for every model you see on Instagram, there's got to be thousands yeah, exactly. you know, on a yeah, table exactly. somewhere. And like yeah, yeah. we've had it where like um, we had a friend of during lockdown, we had a friend of ours, Joey, come in and, and just help around in the office and help with a packing yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. And he knows nothing about Warhammer. He does now. Uh, he does now. <laughs> um, Corrupted him. <laughs> <laughs> but um, he knows nothing about Warhammer and painting. And yeah, he yeah. walked in, he saw some of our like lower tier paint jobs and said, oh, is this, the, is this the competition quality stuff you were talking about? And we were like, oh, no, you haven't seen anything yet. Yeah. <laughs> like, but like to him, he saw it and he was like, that is absolutely mind blowing that someone's done that. And it was like what we would consider our lower levels of painting at work. You do need like to that. ground yourself sometimes. Oh, 100%. Really yeah. Important. Like, well, like, like, I just, there is that part of it as well, where it's like, I just think that the yeah, the having a goal is the best thing you can do, but just being open to what that goal is, like not being uh not going down the road of assuming that the goal has to be I think it should some change as well. Like I think thing. you should I think it should be actively moving, if anything. Because like I this is why I hate like New Year's resolutions. It's like what happens if your mind changes by like No, you're right. Yeah, 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 exactly. right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah, so right. for me, like I've said my goals at the minute, but like I, I'm not going to stick to that. Like, I'm not going to say that a lot of people like look back on, on the goals. Maybe they set at the start of the year or something and like kick themselves for not fulfilling it. Yeah, and I yeah. think that you should really just do what brings you the most enjoyment because if that's, if you're not enjoying what you're doing at the minute, then maybe you're painting really, really hard just to push yourself and you go, you know what, actually this isn't that fun. Yeah. yeah. I think it's important to rather than just like stick to your guns and be like, well, I've got to finish it now. Hmm you know, change it up, maybe have a, a conversation with yourself in your head and just think about, you know, what am I doing this for? What is, what is the part of this that I enjoy the most? You know, maybe you're someone who just loves building models and you're like, no, I actually don't like painting them that much. Just yeah. build models. Yeah. Why not? I think, I think there is, uh, it, there's so many aspects to the hobby. I, I know people that just read the Black Library books and they're, and they're purely like, yeah. right, well, I love the story in the background, but I, I'm not, I'm about as artistic as a, as a, as a table leg, you know? So like, it, I, I get that. Type. There's so many aspects to it that you can do, but you are right. You know, get a goal, focus on it. And if you need to change it based on things that you see, then you can do. There's yeah. no there's no commitment to, to that goal. I think something I like to do is like give yourself a short term, a mid term, and a long term goal. Yeah, that's the best. But way. but assess that every month. Yeah, like write it down yeah. and assess. Do I still want to achieve those things? Is that still what I'm trying to get out of it? Definitely. Yeah, I think that's a that's a great point to end on. So everyone, you know, have a conversation in the comments below. Speak to your painter friends. Have a have a conversation with yourself about you know your hobby goals and how you can get the most out of the hobby. Don't stick to anything. You know. I think it's uh, it's a journey for everyone, this hobby, and that's the great thing about it.